Rouge Pat Beauty. Today, yes, we're in the bathroom of doom and you've seen this brand featured previously. I ordered from this brand when it first launched and they launched on the Josh Wood website and also you can buy it in Boots or online from Boots. And I'm a huge fan. I've always home dyed my hair. It's just one of those things. I am by no means an expert. Um, I'm not a hairdresser. I have no background in hair. I do cut my own hair. I do all the things you're not supposed to. And this is just how I dye my hair. Um, it may not be how everybody else does. Um, you will see. One thing I will say is I wanted to show you this because if like a lot of people you think it's a very difficult process and you've got to section all your hair and you clip all your hair into different sections that kind of thing and it puts you off i wanted to show you what great products can do and basically because this is so good you really have to do so little to get great color and this really does give great results covers the gray it's a superb color it holds its color there's going to be a few videos like this because I want to talk you through other products that I use from the range as well. But I wanted to share this with you. This was actually sent to me by Josh Wood PR. They saw my video about the products I'd bought and asked if I'd like to, you know, have some of their products. And because I've tried everything, I picked my two favourites. One being the dye and one being the everything mask, which you will see in another video because it's probably the best hair mask I've ever ever used but this so this is how it comes this is the hair dye very clear I love the fact that you can see this I love the fact that you can see very clearly what shade you are now I've picked lightest brown now you can see I am quite dark brown it has been dyed for a long time this is my natural hair I've brushed it with um, a paddle brush and a wet brush this is how it is you can see where it's gone grey on the top. That's what I want to show you. There is a colour difference. Now in the summer, I actually prefer to go for a lighter shade um, because I also don't notice the grey growing out as much when it's lighter. And I quite like a little bit of difference. But the lightest brown is still quite a dark shade, which I, I like. It's not a sudden transformation. You don't have a lightning streak down the centre of your head or anything like that. So I chose lightest brown, but I have used all the shades in the brown. I try not to go as dark as I used to because it just doesn't work with my skin tone. My skin tone's lightened a lot and it makes it look quite stark. So tone wise, I'm quite cautious, but I have used lightest brown before and I love it. So I chose that. This is how it comes. This is your box, lots of information. It's a 30 minute hair dye. So you open the box. I like this because it's very sturdy. A lot of hair dye boxes are so breakable and you rip bits off and it's a nuisance and everything fits nicely. It's not wedged in, which you do find. So you have your bottle and this is your colour activator and they're all labelled. And if like me, you wear contacts and your eyesight's a bit dodgy, this is great. The big labelling is great. So you've got B there. It's really, really straightforward. There is a fantastic information leaflet and I would recommend you use it. It tells you anything and everything you need to know. Some hair dyes you have to wet your hair first or wash your hair first. Some you don't. This you don't, but it's always good to check. Also, one thing with this hair dye that I haven't experienced with others, when you rinse it out, they also recommend that you shampoo after. And I like that because it just really cleanses the hair and the scalp when you finish dyeing. Not detrimental to the colour at all. It's stunning, but I love that aspect of it. So we have B and we have A, A, B. So you have your colour that goes into your activator. You simply unscrew the top. You'll see, I'm gonna show you what I do. You also get, which is fantastic, proper salon grade gloves. If you are a home dyer, you will know how many gloves you get and the first thing you do is get a finger through them. I used to have very long nails. They didn't work with the gloves and the number of times I had stained fingers. These 
are proper industrial gloves they're great so you know everything's been considered which i love then oh it just gets better you have a deep conditioning treatment really beautiful do use these they're there for a reason don't skip this side of the dyeing you also get a barrier cream now for anybody who dyes their hair at home i don't know what you do some people will say oh i've got this brown mark all around my forehead and my ears i use i've always used cleansing balms so a good cleansing balm and i just line round my face and my ears this is salon barrier cream so you put it to stop your hair dye dripping down your face and dyeing your face so they've thought of everything what gets even better is if you do make a little mistake and be there are stain removing wipes genius this obviously josh wouldn't know what he's talking about come on he's the main man when it comes to color he's also a yorkshireman hello and you know as far as i'm concerned being a yorkshire lass yorkshire can do no wrong so genius so you've even got the wipes so any little if you do happen to catch something you can use it and even if you notice it uh, you know half an hour an hour later they still work because i've done that so we're going to go through how i dye my hair so i've already said to you no way am i an expert at all and those of you that have watched my channel for a long time will know i'm pretty rubbish my hair's kind of however it lands it lands so i apologize if you are hoping that this is going to be a really professional presented video this is just a standard woman at home Basically filming how she dyes her hair the first thing I do is I brush my hair, completely brush my hair. I also always have a hairband round my wrist and I keep it sort of up there. So when I have the gloves on, I can actually take it off easily because when I get my hair coloured and all the dye on, I like to tie it up in a big knot. It comes out easily, but it just keeps it out of the way rather than having towels draped over my shoulder. It's just how I've always done it. So... I brush my hair and basically um, this is sort of where the grey is. It's all here um, and I have said, you know, take a seat when I say this, that because I can't see the back of my head, I often forget about it, just to let you know. So first things first, I have the bee bottle and I'm just going to unscrew the lid, simple as that. Then I have A, that's the colour, so you unscrew the lid. And then you have one of those puncture pieces in the top of the lid. And you just puncture a hole through there. The other thing I like about this is you don't get lots of colour suddenly squirting out, which I've had before. And you end up in a bit of a panic. And then you squirt this into the bottle. Now, what I tend to do is I actually roll the tube down as I go. I need to just stand it down. So I'm getting every last bit of colour out of this tube. And it is extremely easy and flexible to squeeze right down and flatten it so you're getting every bit of colour out there you go that's the tube that's all the colour gone um i also want to say because i'm sure maybe somebody will comment there's no way i dye my hair with full makeup on i've seen videos where everybody looks perfect i just don't so i mix them together put the lid back on the bee it's still got the protective top on and really give it a good shake you know, if you're into cocktails, think that. Really good shake, so really blend your products together. And you can see the colour mixing. You can see when it's mixed nicely together. Then you have your barrier cream. And it's very easy to open. You have a little dip there, a little tear section there. So you can, even if you can't see it, you can feel where you need to just tear the packet. Very easy to tear. And then what I will do is I just get a finger amount and I just sort of blend it around my hairline. Now, this is how I do it. And I also go over my ears as well because I have in the past had very delightful auburn ears when I used to dye my hair a sort of auburn red. I did spend a few days with sort of red elf-like ears because I'd got hair dye on. And I am quite 
free with it now this may not be how anybody else would do it i just think the more you use the better and it really does don't worry about getting it in your hair it doesn't affect the dye when you take the dye there but i like to just coat the top and the back of my ears but if you're on your own it is very difficult sometimes to to do it all i know some people that have you know friends that help sisters husbands that kind of thing if you generally dye your own hair it is very very difficult to sort of cover every eventuality so i do all that um and there is quite a bit of barrier cream left but i love this and it smells so nice so i do put a lot on that's what i'm like give this another shake now this is where you're going to realize that i am by no means an expert and it just shows you that basically the product's so brilliant because you don't have to be that's the beauty of it now one thing i will say i don't section my hair at all i never have and I still find that I don't have a problem. This hair dye is probably the best I've used. I don't feel it's patchy. I don't notice any patches. I do ask people. There's nothing. What I try and do is I do try and aim sort of down the seam of some of my worst parts of my hair. But you can see I just start off gradually just blending and sort of wetting the hair back just so it's going in the right direction and I've got control. And then I put it here. So I'm not applying it straight to the hair. As I say, this is just how I do it. And I start working it through with my fingers. It's just a method that I have used for over 20 years. And again, I just start working it through. I generally will wear an old dressing gown or something that doesn't matter. This particular top I've been using for gardening and it's got ripped, so it doesn't matter. And it goes over my head quite easily. So this is what I start to do. Squeeze a bit onto the palm of my hand and just start to work and massage it into my head. Um, it smells nice. There's no ammonia in this whatsoever. And it is the only hair dye I have used that doesn't sting my scalp. I had a couple of perms many years ago and one of them actually burnt part of my scalp, only a small area. And it really damaged it. And whenever I used anything like dyes, it stung. This is the only hair dye that has never stung. So once I get a nice colour sort of on the top, I'm working it and massaging it into the back of my head here. And then I start to look at where the grey is. Now it's very difficult because a lot of my grey is so near my face, the skin on my face. And this is why I do my ears as well because I'm trying to catch the very edges. I quite like that little glimmer of grey. I have to say sometimes it's just a little, like a little highlight. And I just keep going and going until I've used all the product. So I will lift my hair up. So my hair at the ends is generally very dry because there's so much colour already in it. And what I want is the colour to come and grow through from the top. So I throw my hair forward and then start massaging the colour warmth of my hands is coming through as well so it's actually blending the colour through and I'm getting every bit and I can kind of feel obviously where my hair stops so I don't take the dye right down to the back of my neck and you can see this hair is still quite dry when I'm happy with sort of the coverage everywhere on my head I will just put a slather of hair dye through the dry hair but obviously that has a lot of the dark colour still in there. Then I grab my hair tie and whatever's left in the bottle, as you can hear, I just keep reapplying around the head. Told you it wasn't professional, but... It's nice to see how other people do things and that there are other ways. Right. And you can also add more barrier cream. Once you've got your dye on and you can see where everything is, 
we're really down to the last the last bit it's a really good bottle just keep giving it a little shake because you'd be surprised how much you can actually get out just persevere with it so you can rinse the gloves off i always have cotton wool pads handy and so i just go around and just tidy up the edges don't worry if you're wiping a bit of the barrier cream away because you've got so much left in the packet go back in with your barrier cream and just reapply around the edge they really do give you a good amount of barrier cream so that has to stay for 30 minutes i generally just get on and do jobs around the house and i always wash it off um in the shower so unfortunately i can't take you with me um into the shower but you've seen i've used a and b a goes into b all over the hair barrier cream all around there and i reapply after i've put the dye on then i will give it 30 minutes and i will apply the deep conditioning treatment in my hair while i'm in the shower and then i will come back to you later when it's dry and you can see the color i don't have a hair dryer i generally air dry my hair so it will take some time but that's how i dye my hair now i haven't put any covers down on the floor or anything like that and actually the only devastation is i've been putting the bits in the sink so easy there was no stress to it no brushes clips sectioning flipping hair that way flipping hair this way it's done so if you were in a hurry you can get away with it and i promise you the results are great right i shall see you in a little while and here we are, the finished results. So I've left my hair to air dry. I have had it tied up. Um, I've clipped it up with one of these um, to leave it to dry. But this is the final colour. Now, you'll see on the top it's a little bit lighter, which is what I really like in the summer. Because as it grows out, you don't notice the grey as much, but you also get almost like highlights. And it just gives a different tone to the hair, and I like it. But it's not an obvious shade difference and you'll see at the sides where it's colored the gray in and here and here on my widow's peak as well i actually don't mind when the gray shows through there at all i quite like the little flecks of gray but i do love this light brown because it does just lift the hair and just give it a slightly different tone in the summer weather in the winter i do tend to take my color darker but i love josh wood because you don't get that sudden stark change in colour. This is lightest brown, but you can see it's working really well with all my hair. And the condition is lovely. Right. So you wash it and wash it and wash it till the colour's clear. You shampoo and then you put the deep conditioning treatment on. And I haven't put anything else on. Um, usually I will put a hair oil through, but I haven't. I wanted you to see how lovely and soft it is. Even to the ends, they are so beautifully soft. Hopefully Hopefully you can see the shine I know this isn't the best light but I wanted it to be true to how I filmed which was in this bathroom so that's it that's my Josh Wood color um, a couple of pointers just looking back over what I filmed already um, a few of you will probably comment but it is just something that I prefer to do I've explained in my blog so do go there I put barrier cream around my head before I put the dye on now I know not everybody does a lot of people put dye on then the barrier cream the reason I do that is it actually makes me careful when I'm applying the dye I'm not as rough shod about it so it makes me a little bit more cautious when it's there and then you'll see that i added more after and um, they also recommend that when you're washing the dye out of your hair that you put the gloves back on just in case you have any sensitivity so you can do that i generally go into the shower and wash all the dye out and do it that way but if you're one of these that likes to throw your head over a sink or whatever whatever your circumstances are pop the gloves back on um i would also say always do a patch test most hair dyes i think all hair dyes recommend doing that certainly do it is ammonia free but always check the box check the ingredients and this is my way of dyeing my hair. It is by no means from the instructions of Josh Wood. They do have a very concise leaflet with the hair dyes, read it. Great advice if you're just 
touching up your roots, great advice if you're doing a full colour on your hair, lots of tips and tricks. But do read it if you are using a dye for the first time, if you haven't coloured your hair in a long time, if you've never used the range, do read the leaflet. This is just my way of doing it. So by no means have I been helped or advised or I'm following any Josh Wood instructions. It's just the Rouge Pow way and you'll have seen in no way was it professional. Um, just to be clear, we like to be transparent. Um, the products I used were PR samples, but I know a lot of you are aware that I did bring a video out, which I will put a link to, where I bought from the range when it first launched and that's all I've used since obsessed. I always buy the hair dye, the everything mask and the shade shots as well you can get. So there's lots, you can get shampoo, conditioner, I've had it all but that's just to be clear, it was a PR sample that I was using in this particular video. I hope that was helpful, I hope it showed you that you can have absolutely no skill like me and you can get great colour and your hair is lovely and healthy and silky and smashing and champion um, but also if you have lots of skill you can section your hair and you know be very very clever I envy anybody that can do that I just have never ever been that way at all I can put eyeliner on I just don't have any hair skills so when you have great products you can achieve almost anything. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope those of you that maybe have been put off using home colouring kits will maybe try them now when you've realised that if I can do it, anybody can do it. Simple as that. Um, I will see you soon in another video. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Bye.